Ready to hit the road? Ready to hit the road, baby. We made it! I'm in awe right now. I'm in awe. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. It actually feels like we kind of like have a home now. And this is a big deal. This is the highest minor league level. So it goes low A, high A, double A, where we ended last year, aka Frisco and Dallas. Triple A, baby. But I just left his game and he texted me and he was like, do not tell me about that. Don't post about it. I love how he used to tell me not to post. He was like, but we're going around wrong, baby. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm gonna get him coming home and, and telling me in person because I know he's gonna be excited. I know he's gonna be so excited. I'm gonna gloat on him because he's not gonna gloat. He freaking killed spring training. Like he killed spring training. I'm so excited for him. I'm so happy for him. He deserves this. He deserves it. He was doing so good. He, he, I'm gonna end it on that. Josh Smith, good job, boy. Good job, boy. Okay, now let's see when he comes home. Are you excited? I am so excited. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Love you. Oh my, you've already packed my clothes and everything. Let's go. Literally, I did so much packing between, what, how many hours was it? Both of our suitcases are packed. What a life. You're my welcome. Gosh, Didn't want you to have to do too much. Thank you. And I'm starting to pack up our IKEA bags again. Literally. All of it's gone. All of it's gone, all packed up. Anything for my baby for making it to the drip. Oh, do you want to tell them why we're packing? I didn't tell them. Oh, because we're leaving tomorrow? Tomorrow. <laughs> we get told today and we're leaving 14, tomorrow. 14 hour drive. 14 and a half. 14 and a half. But we're going to do it and our season starts Monday, I think. Monday? The 5th, I think. Oh my god, okay, for everybody else really is gonna be leaving on like April 3rd. So we were predicting that. We didn't know that this started early. Or I did. Yeah, I didn't know, like, I didn't know where I was gonna be, honestly. I didn't know if I was gonna start in double A AA or triple A. And so this was kind of big news and stuff, so. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Where's triple A? Triple A is in Round Rock, Texas. It's like right by Austin, so that'll be fun. Right outside of Austin. You could just buy a house there. Yeah. <laughs> well then. It's gonna be crazy. Good morning. It is the next day. It's literally been 12 hours. 12 hours. Something like that. And we are all packed up. Pretty much. For the Kinda. most part. For the most part. We just gotta get Claire's whole wardrobe. 24 hour turnaround. Not even. We each have a suitcase. If you didn't watch our last video. All of our bags are packed up for like shoes, really home like stuff, I feel like we don't have that tech much stuff. stuff. I thought that too in, until I saw you load the car with your baseball stuff. Yeah, like true. this isn't a lot, 
but yeah. they have a lot of hanging clothes. Right, but I'm we have a these. bar in the back of our car. I'm bringing these to the car. Okay. And then we also have like a bathroom with all of my skincare products. <laughs> oh, and we have a kitchen, I guess. Now would be a good time to do like a little mini housework since I never did that. So here's our room. This is upstairs. This is ours. Beauty. Tiny as can be. This was another room. I don't know if I can go in here. Whatever. Another room. Yes, we shared a bathroom, but it's fine because it was like two couples are in this room. So we like, once the boys left all day, the girls were by ourselves. So, oh. And then this is like a little loft over there. We had a single guy live with us. So he lived in there. And then this was the master that um, another couple had. Um, and I know y'all gonna ask like who decides to get this. He, they paid more. So that's how that worked out. It was like the perfect guy's house. Like even though the girls were here the majority of the time, but it's fine. Okay, so this is the first living room. It was perfect because we could literally all sit on this big giant couch. Um, the guys could play pool. Um, and yes, two TVs, March Madness. So, And then this was the second living room, which is where this console was originally. Um, so just a lot of space for there was seven, of, seven of us in this house. So three couples, two, four, six. And then one single guy. Then this is the kitchen. This is where the girls did most of the cooking. I'm packing up right now. Here's our kitchen bag. Seasonings, like dry food, pantry food. I'm putting all the, literally they, what is this, our place pan? They gave me this and I am so glad that I have this now. But air fryer, smoothie maker, pan, a few little, um, Tupperware cups, smoothie cups, and then I'm soaking our air fryer. But yeah, this is the kitchen that goes to the pool room, stuff like that. Best part about the house was we had a backyard, y'all. Not living in an apartment and not having a backyard is like, you don't realize how tough it is until you have a backyard again. We, me and the girls, we spent like so much time back here. We tanned sometimes. It would have been nice if we had a pool. We tanned sometimes. We have a badminton net right there. We can't tell. Hung out here. We ate right here all the time. I'm about to do Sculpt Society dance cardio. <laughs> but yeah, we have a little orange tree. So pretty. And then in there is just the laundry room. I know, messy. We This is literally a bunch of my boxes. I don't know what to do with them. Um, so just the laundry room. And then the garage. Another bathroom. This like was like the single guy's bathroom like we let him like just take that but yeah that is it we are doing like a few like last minute things like i'm washing our sheets and then we can really load the car and get on the road it is six it is no 14 and a half hours but we're definitely gonna stop halfway somewhere and once we get in the car we're all packed up we will you know do a debriefing on the minor league system again and how this works because i know it is confusing and it needs to be repeated a lot to just make sure y'all know what's going on and don't worry your girl is gonna shower we just have been we've been packing while josh has been away but it's fine it was like so much easier to pack up this time than it was for spring training like coming here because we didn't have all of our apartment stuff so and your girl is organized so it was very easy but yeah, we're gonna finish packing up and then I'll show y'all how packed our car is when we leave. Here we are, a fully loaded car. If you're a baseball girl traveling, these, I, oh my God, do not look at that. How gross, it's our vacuum. But these flimsy Ikea bags are life saver, savers. These are the only two hard suitcases we have. We wanted to bring less this year, just one for each of us in case we had to go on like away trips or if I went home or something. These are just so easy to pack with because they're flimsy, they sit well on top of each other. And when you unpack them, like you don't have all like these hard storage bins that you'd like find place for in wherever you're living, whether it's a hotel, apartment, house, whatever. But I can just fold these up, it's so nice. And then, we do have our 
clothing rack as always and this is like full to the max as well and i even you know what's bad about that is that my parents came a couple weekends ago no like last weekend no i'm sorry a few days ago and i sent home clothes with them and yeah here we are can you see it all the way back there wait i'm gonna show you the angle from the front literally life on the road this is what life on the road looks like front seat rack of clothes at least in our defense it does the man of the hour hello is this yours what no it's not but thanks you ready i'm ready ready to hit the road ready to hit the road baby officially headed to round rock uh so we're um we're staying in an apartment this year, so they pay for our living, which is really nice. In uh, Pflugerville, Texas, so. Pflugerville. Never really heard of it. It sounds um, like bugger. <laughs> like a loogie. What? Pflugerville. And loogie. so we'll do that. Uh, we're gonna have a roommate with us, uh, and so that'll be fun. But Wait, really... can I explain the housing situation? Yeah, you go. Because I feel like that's always so asked about. Okay, so last year we were in hotels because we were bouncing around so much and they didn't give you provided housing, they just had team hotels. And if you wanted to do other housing, you had to find it on your own. But like I said, we were literally all over the place, so we never were in a place long enough to get like more permanent housing. So that's why we did hotels last year. This year, they are providing us housing. So I think it's either fully furnished- Which is amazing. Amazing. Like, one, it's, we don't have to pay for it. And two, it's the finding it that was really hard last year too that wasn't like a million dollars too. But it's fully furnished apartments and houses. And you have to have roommates even if you're married or not. I think it's like two, three, four bedroom apartments or options and then like four, five, six houses. I'm not too sure, I just know we have a two bedroom. Yeah, so we're in a two bedroom. We're living with one of the boys. So that is the housing situation in the low down. Is that that is gonna take like a lot of stress off of us because last year yeah. that was like the most stressful thing. Like having to play and move find and housing, like move out of housing, that was miserable. And so this year it's gonna be different. Yes. Last year I had to go to every single away series. And the away series are like a week long. There's yeah. six days, right? Yeah. Because in a hotel if when Josh and them left for an away series, if I were to be stuck there, we'd have to pay for the hotel like out of pocket fully. Versus like me just moving out every week or two and going with them and staying in the team hotel in a way. So I can be more relaxed this year. She'll be less stressed out. I'll be, less, I'll stressed be less stressed out. out. <laughs> I'll be less stressed out. Um, it'll feel more like permanent and like homey this year. Since I want to like move out an apartment every single time and I can like choose to go on away series and like maybe not the full week but maybe just for the weekend. Yeah, so basically it'll make it a lot easier on us, but right now we're just hitting the road, just packed up and uh we'll stop soon and kinda keep you guys updated on our way there. So Yeah, I think we're just gonna try to drive as much as we can tonight. Grab a coffee. Grab a coffee soon. A coffee. But this is our view, like I showed y'all earlier. <laughs> The definition of baseball life on the road. Claire packed everything. Props to her. I did. Was, she was talking to me. She was like, she said, what would you do without me? And I was like, I mean, honestly, I'd probably only have one bag. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but then you wouldn't have the comfort that some of the other things that we brought that like make yeah, it homey. Yeah, no, that's true. She makes it easy. But Ikea bags, I'm telling you all. The girls are on here that are packing. Get those Ikea bags and one of these babies. We just drove. Hotel number one. 11 hours, couldn't do the full 16. Made a pit stop and the setup of this hotel is giving me major last year baseball vibes. Just like, little sweet style, whatever. But we're in Midland, Texas. Pretty nice hotel. We would've loved this last year. I feel like this is one of the nicer hotels we stayed in. But yeah, we drove. 11 hours, we're in Midland, and we have five more tomorrow. It's like 1 a.m. right now. But we are back on normal, what's it called, time change. It's usually 11 o'clock where we're at. So, so we still have like five more hours to go tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> not bad though, we, we don't have anything to do tomorrow. Just uh, not bad for you. I'm, I'll drive tomorrow. 
Maybe. But. All right. I love y'all. Night, night night. See y'all on day three of this. All right, y'all. Here she is, Sleeping Beauty, ready for day two. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. Actually, <laughs> Your hair. Uh, so we have five. How many? What do you have? Five and a half or five hours today. And this is the light in our hotel room. There's no, like, how ridiculous. Did just come around? No. Oh, also, <laughs> pray that everything is still in our car. Oh, God, yeah, I need to go check that. Yeah, that's the only reason why. So, yeah, we're going to eat some breakfast this morning and then get on the road, probably grab a coffee, and hopefully get to Pflugerville by, like, three or so. Wait, did we tell them that's where we're, our actual, like, place is that we're staying? Yeah, so we're staying in Pflugerville, Texas. So that'll I be feel like I keep saying Austin, because that's, like, the main city, and then Round Rock is where the team's at, the stadium, and then we're staying in Flu. Oh, yeah, Lugie. Lugie. <laughs> so, yeah, so we got a longer drive today than expected, but we'll get through it. See y'all. Two more hours, we're at our favorite restaurant in the world. Subway, eat fresh. Yeah, boy is gonna drive home. It's probably really loud because it's windy. Like, I can tell you're going to Yeah, I know. But well, we're about to stop and get some lunch. Okay, hey, why is it so windy here? Every single place we stopped at in Texas has been so windy. It's so cold, too. But we got about two hours left. I know, I never eat Subway besides now. And we're gonna head to the field after this to unpack and then we'll show you our apartment after that. So stay with us. We made it! The new home for the year! This Round is Rock! Huge. Yeah, it is. Jeez. What? Oh my gosh! That's so cute! I don't know where to go. <laughs> Dell Diamond. Everybody come watch. How's it feel? <laughs> this place is big. <laughs> How do I get in here? I don't know. Oh my god, wow, it looks so nice in there. Oh, there's people in there. Yeah. This looks like a player situation over here. Oh, that right here? Yeah, no. You think? Oh, 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 maybe we're here. Delivery. No thrust back. Hey, that's Sam Huff's truck. Yeah. How does it feel? It's cool. It's a big stadium. Hopefully some home runs. All right, where'd I go? I'm assuming in there. You like video? <laughs> I guess this is So we just got to our spot. Uh, we had to pick up my roommate. He sat in the front, we dropped him off. Um, so right now, you can't even see. <laughs> She's somewhere back there, but we just got to our spot. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's very nice. Nicer than we thought. This is um, lavish compared so to So yeah, we got this, a pool. We got a lot, so this is sweet. Got us a little carport. So we just pulled up, and this place is really nice, actually. Like, I had no clue it was gonna be this nice. I'll give you guys a little tour. So got our kitchen area. Claire's in shock still. Living room. You like this better than last year? <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> this is sweet. <laughs> Bedroom. I think about last year and how sliding's bad. We were literally We were literally in hotels every single week of the season, the whole freaking season. And I had to move out every single time with the way series because like every other week. And then I'm like I'm in awe right now. I'm in awe. I'm 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 in shock. Like I don't have words. Bathroom, like, tub. Shower. Are you telling me I can bathe this season? You're talking about the bath? <laughs> Double sink, huge closet. We got a pool out there too. I feel like we're like 
staying at the Ritz. Just sick. Like huge closet. Just imagine when I get done organizing that thing. Look how spacious this is right here. She's excited. <laughs> I can work out right here. I can do my sculpt society dance cardio. Right but seriously, like this is amazing. Like the Rangers did this. They don't have to, and so I think this so is like they see this and we'll amazing. See the Rangers, thank you. Yes, thank like, y'all. This is this, this is, is gonna take like a ton of stress off of us. I know yeah, that for a fact. It. This is gonna change the whole baseball experience for us. Like just oh being God. able to like it actually feels like we kinda like have a home now. So yeah, it's no, like, it's so homey. I feel like I mean I don't have to go to every way series. I can just you can stay here. I know. This is amazing. This is did we show it? Did you fully get it? <laughs> yeah I got a lot of it. Like Claire is ecstatic. We are finally all settled in now. So we're gonna do like a final like little walk through to show you how everything has a spot. Everything has a place. I still can't get over how nice this place is. No, no, <laughs> we can't. Oh, but and everything has a spot. Every, Claire figured that out. Everything. Show my closet. Okay, so this is our bedroom. It's so big. And yes, I was right. Remember earlier when I was like laying right here? It is big enough for me to work out, and I do and my. She can fit all of her boxes in and, here. Okay, yeah, that's my little um, package corner. But this is my side. This is Josh's side. If you can't tell, can you tell? He has his coffee table books, and I have my flowers. Okay, this is what I think is like. This closet's huge. The best, one of the best parts. All of my clothes. We have room for all of our shoes. They're not cluttered on top of each other. Josh's side, we have room for our luggage, just to like put things away, which is also why I love how we did those flimsy Ikea bags because we just fold them up and we have one thing to put away, just one. And then look at my, this, whoa, look at the shelves. Everything just has a spot. Nothing feels cluttered, if you know what I mean. My baby has his own little hook. Nice look. Like, like we have chests of drawers. Like we have things to put. Don't show them that one. <laughs> and then our bathroom, guys. Look at just how massive. Got a jacuzzi in here too. Yes. Okay. Wait. Yes. This bathtub has the little jacuzzi side. The little button. <laughs> Thanks, baby. But look, I got a little trash. Like that, like having a tray like that really makes it feel like home. I mean, judge me or don't judge me for the amount of products that I travel with, but like, who cares? Just drawers, like having drawers and cabinets is truly a gift. It's like, Josh is, hurry up. So much stuff though. <laughs> because he's hungry. Okay. Mm. Oh, have y'all seen that? Yeah. And then this is the kitchen. Look at how just awesome. Big, big living area, because we do have a roommate. But this all came with, and you know me, a fully stocked, organized fridge and a pantry. Wait, can you turn back around again? Look at this little alfalfa. <laughs> okay, so this is like really the only, this and that are the two appliances that we brought. We do wish we had our coffee pot now because a Keurig, it's like a one, one cup Keurig, which is fine, but it, this apartment came with everything. A knife block, forks, knives, utensils, like all of it. Pots and pans, like literally everything. We didn't need one single thing. So like we really don't cook in the air fryer that much anymore. It literally feels like we're like at our own home. Yes, it's very it's nice. normal feeling. Okay, then over here, that's a roommate kitchen stretching machine. That's, that's the garage, front door, and then our roommate's room. But like, that's really it. And it's amazing. However, we have learned since we first moved in that this is not like across the board what minor league living is looking like now the provided housing guidelines for this year were literally just you have to be provided housing yeah, no there's like, like no term. requirements so basically we got 
extremely lucky and the rangers did a really good job of like providing us yeah really good housing it's not just decent like it's actually yeah. really nice and so and we really isn't, appreciate that. this isn't like a triple a thing this yeah, is like a some rangers people, thing yeah like some people still have to like stay in hotels and stuff like if and move out every week yeah you've made like over i think it's like over a certain amount a month like you have to basically find your own place and so it's like for those we're guys yeah it's still stressful um but we got lucky with this so we're excited yeah this is like it's awesome yeah <laughs> it takes it really like is. it takes all the stress out for sure but anyways yeah so thanks for watching uh hopefully a good season this year now that we're a little comfortable where we're at and uh hopefully big things to come yes make sure to like comment and subscribe bye <laughs> okay bye He's hungry, sorry guys.